In the summer of 2014, my team and I embarked on a journey for 14,000 miles. Our goal was to ride our bicycles from Alaska to Argentina. A lot of men out there don't know how to deal with the pressure and stress that comes from the pursuit of success. This impacts their mind, their body, and their relationships in a negative way. And the wind is so strong that everything in me is shaking. The wind is so loud that my ears hurt. It's so cold that my skin is burning. I started thinking that I was somewhere else where I was not cold, where I was not hungry, where I was not exhausted. And as I was thinking about that, I remember about what Marcy said. You need to learn to love the pain. You need to learn to love the ugly. You need to learn to love the pain because that is where your love is needed the most. We're asked to be resilient, compassionate, vulnerable, successful, have energy throughout the day, have great bodies. Before, the only expectation that men had was go make some money and bring it home. Uh, today's completely different. I think that today is the expectation is go make some money, be great at it, come back home, and have the energy to be a great husband, to be present with your family, to be a great dad, a great leader in your family. The best thing that I've done for my success in my career is serving others from the bottom of my heart without expecting anything in return. I believe that the more we understand each other, the more compassionate we can be with one another. And we need a lot more compassion in this world. Culturally, we've been pushed and we've been forced and we've been taught that it's not good for men to express that feminine side, right? And not only that, it's also not good for men to express too much of his masculine side. And so in both sides, we've been told that we should not express too much of ourselves. From within pain comes growth. From within pain comes compassion. From within pain comes change. Within pain, there's a potential for self-discovery. And knowing yourself and conquering yourself is the biggest battle you can win in your life. The men in your organization are asked to be successful, powerful, resilient, compassionate, vulnerable, and provide for others throughout the day. My goal is to help them achieve all of that. 21 months after we left, we cycled the entire world. At two years before that, I didn't think I was going to be able to walk across Spain. Two years before that, I didn't think I was going to be able to walk across campus. So I can tell you from experience that the impossible is attainable. So today I want to encourage you to make your life about the journey, make your life about the everyday. And I want to challenge you to love your struggle, to love your doubt, to love your hesitation. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um.